the importance of the new uh, PLOS paper is that um, up until this point, the link that is apparent between Zika virus and adverse pregnancy outcomes has really focused primarily on um, neurologic problems, such as microcephaly, calcifications, and other malformations in the brain. This new paper um, suggests that Zika virus may have a role, and I say may because it's a single case report, um, but it may have a role in other, uh, other problems in, in babies, um, specifically fetal high drops, um, which is basically um, cardiac failure, um, and other findings. Now, we know that other uh, pathogens, other viruses and some parasites can cause similar types of problems in, in unborn fetuses. Um, but we don't know specifically from this one report whether or not Zika is capable of doing this or well. But there's, this is a suggestion that um, this could be a problem. And the more, the more importance of this is that um, as this epidemic unfolds, we're, we're gonna, um, we continue to see potential effects. Um, and it really reminds us that we really need to um, continue to work as we're doing to figure out what this whole thing really means in terms of what is the attack rate um, is this clearly, uh, is this microce microcephaly link and potentially other malformations link a real? Um, and what does this mean for the global community going forward? I think that's the most important thing out of this is that we, we have more suggestions of effects beyond just brain tissue. Studies like this PLOS paper um, support our editorial because they highlight the importance of understanding diseases uh, in pregnant women and the effect that those diseases potentially have uh, on their unborn fetuses. So it supports uh, many types of research in pregnancy. Um, more research to understand what exactly the link is, if there is a link. Um, uh, the timing of pregnancy that matters most. The immune response to these infections in pregnancy. And importantly, um, if we are to control this, um, one of the main ways we control is either through vaccines or other countermeasures. And as we stated in our editorial, Pregnant women have traditionally been nearly excluded from such research. But the, the data coming out about Zika virus really demonstrates that it's, it's probably not wise going forward to exclusively, exclusively um, to exclude pregnant women um, because, you know, this is such an important patient population and we see the devastating effects that sometimes these infections can have.